right, students, this is for my AP Macro kids. A little review, running a little bit late today, getting this recorded. Um, this is for, come on, that worked for me. This is just a little tutorial about how we're going to do the essays tomorrow. Okay, for all, I started to say all three classes, all two periods, this is going to be question number one. Okay, what is a greater effect on aggregate demand? comma, government spending or a change in taxes. All you got to do is write government spending. Okay, easy A, remember, memorize that. What we're going to do tomorrow, I think, after we take the essays, is we're going to go through and look at some actual AP Macro essays so I can show you how this works in some AP Macro and multiple choice. That's question one. Now, question two is going to be something like this. Okay, and I don't really have... The technology to do this. I couldn't find one of my little draw boards here at home. So let's just, I'm going to kind of orally explain it to you and then I'll show you how it look on your paper. Now tomorrow you're going to get three questions. One like you just got and then you're going to get question number two which is going to be a spending multiplier or regular multiplier question. Question number three is going to be a tax multiplier question. Okay? So anyway, let's go over this. I'm, I'm just not trying to be tricky. You'll learn, especially if the kids come back second nine weeks, that for my essays, I pretty much go right straight at you with the questions. I don't try to trick you. The multiple choice is just naturally tricky. So here we go. When you see draw, that's it's not really the way we normally do it. I just want you to get in the habit of putting the ADS or AS graph up there. If the U.S. is running an inflationary gap of 50 million, above the potential GDP of 200 million. Now, my idea is at home, you're practicing. So as you're watching this, go ahead and draw the graph. Aggregate price level, real GDP, LRAS, AD, SRAS. You have to have this memorized for tomorrow. Okay? And under the potential, the LRAS line, or the potential output line, you're going to put $200 million. Now, are we to the right of that? Or to the left of that with an inflationary gap? Well, we're to the right of it. So to the right over there, in, in my old old mnemonic device, was we have too much air in the tire. So we have an inflationary gap, too much air in there. So you're going to be to the right of it, and it's going to be $250 million. So the question is, how much does the government need to reduce spending? So this is a spending multiplier. Okay, well, the NPC is 80%. What do you need to get the multiplier? You need the NPS. Remember the NPC and the NPS together add up to 1. 0.8 and 0.2 add up to 1. So the NPS is 20% or 0.2. The multiplier is 1 over that. So 1 divided by 0.2 is equal to 5. So we need to reduce real GDP by 50 million. And whatever amount of money they cut spending, it's going to wind up multiplying times 5. So what number times 5 equals $50 million? And it should be $10 million. Let's go to the next slide. Now, I'm sorry this is so sloppy here, but I just kind of wrote it. Because what I wanted you to do, for those of you who really want an A, is I wanted to model for you, chuckle, chuckle, A, what this should look like. So that's exactly what it looks like. My handwriting is sloppy. This graph is actually a little bit straighter than they normally are because I'm sitting down at, at my table recording this. So what you see there at the bottom with my chicken scratch is you see $200 million underneath LRAS. That's potential GDP, and we're above it, $250 million. So you see it exactly like it's supposed to look, but I want you to show me your work. So what that is down below, about halfway down, is 1 divided by 0.2. You might not be able to see that decimal. 1 divided by 0.2 is equal to 5. So 10 million times 5, 10 million times 5 is equal to 50 million. I want you to write it just like this so I can see your math, and then you circle how much spending they need to cut. And so you see $10 million is circled, okay? All right, and you guys in there, if I mess up and do it wrong, or, or I forget how I told you I'd do it, I'm doing a spending multiplier for question two, and then a tax multiplier for question three. So let's go on to question three. These are just examples. If the country of Luravel has a potential GDP of $50, so that's under LRS, an actual GDP of $40. Now, um, before we go any further, 
if potential GDP, or what I like to call optimal GDP, is $50 and the economy has $40, we're in a recession. So it's going to be to the left of that. There's not enough air in the tire. Okay? You don't want to go on a diet. You need to put on a few pounds because you're looking anorexic. You know, looking like you just got a, you know, a, never mind. I'm not going to make any jokes. Um, we already did Holocaust stories already. So the deal is you understand a lot of people are very thin and you want to put on weight. Okay? You want to expand the economy. Okay? So how much would the government need to decrease taxes? If the NPS was 50% now. So instead of increasing spending, we don't have enough money. So the government can increase spending or decrease taxes. In this case, they've decided to decrease taxes. Now remember, the decrease of taxes has a smaller effect than the increase in spending. So anyway, we got to figure out the multiplier. So the spending multiplier is one of the NPS. 1 divided by 0.5 is 2. But the tax multiplier is the spending multiplier minus 1. So let me see if we can do this math without a calculator. Let me see. 2 minus 1 is, hmm, let me ask my assistant professor over here who is giving me no help. Bo, what's the answer? He's not giving me any answers here if you can even see him. Um, 2 minus 1 is 1. And so I'm going to show you again how this is supposed to look here in a minute. So... How much would the government need to decrease taxes if the NPS was 50%? So they want to move the economy $10, right? So what number times 1 equals $10? And the answer should be $10. Let's see how we did here. Oops, let me slide this down here. And once again, uh, where's the cursor? There it is. So I can move this down. Once you get this figured out, this is exactly like 3 is going to be. So I've drawn the graph, aggregate price level, real GDP. I know you have trouble reading my chicken scratch. $40 is actual GDP. Uh, LRAS is potential output is 50. We're $10 short. There's not enough gas in the tank. Um, so if you'll see there, I'm showing you the math. 1 divided by 0.5 is 2. Then you see me going 2 minus 1 equals 1. And then 10 times 1 equals $10. And so the amount the government needs to cut taxes is $10. So anyway, you've got this. I sent you a Clifford video earlier. It's actually very good. Uh, and you can look at the ones that I did from class. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping everybody gets 100 tomorrow without cheating. So anyway, this is Mr. Russell. And I'm trying to come up with a name for my YouTube studio. Lauraville Springs Studios, signing off.